How's it going guys? Just a quick PSA for you all. First of all, you're still going to be getting your daily dose of Wi-Fi battles from me. That's not going to change. However, I did make a second channel. On this channel, I'll be covering all Nintendo games as they come out and similar N Nintendo-esque games as well. For example, we're currently covering Little Kitty Big City and Princess Peach Showtime. If you're interested in seeing me play other games apart from Pokemon, then be sure to go check out the new channel and join me on this new journey. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the video. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're on about versus Zero from the Discord server in the underused tier. Go ahead and join the Discord server, it's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There's a link in the description down below. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the teams you see on screen right now. And if you want to see more daily Wi-Fi battles from me, then be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. With that being said, let's jump into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Zero. So they're going to lead off with the Hippo as we led off with good old Indeedy Male. The reason I led off with Indeedy is because it hits pretty hard the entire team except from the Empoleon. Um, so it's pretty pretty good to get up like, in a Psychic Terrain and get the Expanding Force going straight away. I feel like that's a good play. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Go for that Expanding Force, get some mad damage off on something. So we go for the Expanding Force on the Hippo. They're going to stay in and they're not going to appreciate it. It's going to do over half, which is amazing. They go for an EQ. We should do a lot of damage to us. Not too much, though. And we are buffed by the Sandstorm, remember. Um, so what I might do now is, if, we, if they're going to go for the EQ, I think what I'm going to do is... Well, they'll probably go for a Slack Off, right? Expecting us to... I think I'm just going to go for an Expanding Force. They withdraw the Hip Out on this turn, which is fine. What are they going to go into? The Quagsire or the Empoleon? Empoleon comes in, which is fine. We can handle Empoleon because we go down this turn. So we lose in DD, but Psychic Terrain is still going to be there. And that Expanding Force still did a lot of damage to the Empoleon, which is great. So now that we go down to the uh, Sandstorm, we can safely go into pretty much whatever we want to take on this Empoleon. So I'm leaning towards the Dreadnought into the Earthquake. Earthquake could hurt a lot of things on the team. Um, I don't actually have Rock-type Stab on this particular Dreadnought, so that Stab Deuce is pretty lucky in that regard. <laughs> I don't know why I don't have Rock Stab. I probably should have put Loaded Dice on here with Rock Blast, right? That would have been pretty cool. Um, but anyway, that's in the past. Let's go into Zabdos real quick. So Zabdos can come in now. Fundaja comes in. And we can just go straight for a Volt Switch if we want to. Um, I think I will go for the Volt Switch because it's likely they're going to switch out. But I don't know what they're going to go into. They could go Hippo. They could go into the Quagsire. And there's a lot of things they could do here. They go into the Hippo though, which is fine. Hippo is going to come through. And then we go for a Volt Switch, which unfortunately fails. So what do we do here? Do we risk a hurricane? They can't really touch us. So I don't really mind risking a hurricane. So I think I will go for the hurricane. There we go. We risked it for a chocolate biscuit and we were rewarded for it as the hippo goes down to a hurricane, which is fantastic. Absolutely brilliant stuff. I love it. I absolutely love it. In comes Pormot, which is an interesting one, to say the least. So this thing probably has a revival blessing, which is terrifying. Um, so we're going to have to switch out. What do we go into though? I, I would say Donphan's the best switch here so i'm gonna go into donphan i think donphan does really well they like i said they probably go for a revival blessing and they probably have leper berry um let's see if they do or not so they go for an ice punch which is great for us it does a lot of damage they must be like um life orb or yeah they are life orb <laughs> with iron fist which is good to know i could have probably stayed in with that some vault switch but i don't want to give them any vault absorb you know so now, they probably have to switch out. I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks. They do withdraw the Poor Mark Fear in the Earthquake. And they more than likely end up going into Zapdos. They do go into Zapdos, which is great and all for them. Uh, we get the Stealth Rocks up, which is fantastic. Gotta love having the uh, Stealth Rocks up, that's for sure. So now, what do we do against this Zapdos? I'm leaning towards the Skeledurge or the Gardevoir. Gardevoir could be really cool, Expanding Force and all that. So I think I will switch out into Gardevoir. Expanding Force hits everything on the team really hard except from the Empoleon. And even then we have Aura Sphere, so it's like, haha. And um, so we're going to our Gardevoir. Now people normally expect these things to be choiced, which mine isn't. Mine's a Soul Vest. And um, they go for a Heat Wave though. It's not stabbed. It's going to bounce right off us. We don't get burned as well, which is nice. Now we can go for an Expanding Force in the Psychic Terrain. They go for a Thunder Wave, which is going to paralyze us, basically crippling us. Um, but it should be fine as long as we don't get fully paralyzed this turn. We don't. We go for an expanding force in the psychic terrain. Cleanly nearly KOs it. That's amazing. So the weirdness does disappear now, which is unfortunate. But at the end of the day, it's night. 
At the end of the day, it's night. So says me. Let's go for an expanding force again. They go for a roost. So they're probably thinking at this point that we are like choiced. Locked into expanding force. Because I've gone for it again instead of a moon blast. And that's just me being me. I am a bit of a noob. So I went for the expanding force thinking it does the same amount of damage as moon blast. It doesn't. So let's switch up moves and go for a moon blast. They go for a roost. Which is great and all. We can tank hits from the Zapdos for days. And we can just go for a moon blast. They're probably waiting for us to get fully paralyzed. Um, but I'm just kind of getting a bit, a, bit, a bit bored of this Guard of War versus Zapdos standoff, to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do here is, knowing they're probably going to go for a roost again, I'm tempted to go into the Dreadnought and go for a Shell Smash. But we've got to remember that that Quagsire is still there and a thing. So we have to be very careful with what we do. I have to be very careful with what we do. So, if I go Dreadnought now, I think Dreadnought's a good one. They do withdraw the Zapdos. What are they going to bring in? Empoleon? Empoleon comes in. That's great. So, with Empoleon in, with Empoleon in, we are in a very good position because we switch into Dreadnought, which means we no longer have to Terra. We can just go straight for an EQ and it should take them out. They may not expect us to go outright for the EQ. They're probably going to expect the Shell Smash and they're probably going to go into Quagsire personally, but... Um, if they go into Quagsire, we know it's unaware. So let's go for that EQ real quick. EQ comes through. They probably expected us to Shell Smash. And that's going to take out Empoleon, which is great. So Dreadnought actually got a KO, which is amazing. And now, nothing on their team really wants to take a Moonblast from Gardevoir, which is amazing as well. In comes the Terrakion. Now, Terrakion is an interesting one here. So we could Shell Smash Terra Ground and live a close combat, but we don't know what set they are yet. I think we have to go into Donphan here. Just to see what kind of set this Terrakion is. We'll be able to tell if it's Choice Banded. Because it'll probably take us out of a close combat right now. Um, if they're Choice Banded. So they go for the CC. That's going to nearly take us out. Not quite though. Which is great for us. And um, Stealth Rocks are still up right. Yeah they are. Rocky Helmet comes through. And they're Life Orb. Which is good to know. So I'm going to get some last minute chip damage with the Ice Shard. There we go. Just a little bit of chip. With the defenses dropped, they go for an EQ though, and that's going to take out our Donphan. They had to go for the EQ there so they wouldn't get the Rocky Helmet chip, which is like obvious probably to you guys. Uh, not obvious to me all the time because I'm a bit dense with these things. So anyway, Zapdos could come in here. God of War could come in here. Skeledurge, Terra Grass could come in. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Zapdos. Now the only reason we would go into Zapdos here is if we were going to Terra. So I'm actually expecting them to go for either an Earthquake, predicting the Terra Steel, or a Close Combat. More than likely, the Close Combat. So I'm going to risk it for a Biscuit, and I'm going to go for a Hurricane, and I'm not going to Terra. They actually have Rock Tomb, which does a lot of damage. It lowers our speed as well. And then we probably going to miss this Hurricane now as well. We don't miss the Hurricane, which is amazing, and down goes the Terrakion, just like that. So Terrakion is down. Why have they got Rock Tomb over Stone Edge? That's a little worrying. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, Rock Tomb has got its own utility, lowest speed and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So, Paul Mott comes in. Again, we could Terra. Zapdos could Terra here. Um, but I don't know whether that's wise or not. I think what I'm, what I'm probably better doing is sacking off Gardevoir here. Definitely sacking off Gardevoir. Or, or no, Gardevoir can still put work in against the Quagsire. So, I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go for a Volt Switch. Just in case the Revival Blessing. They do Ice Punch though, which is going to take us out. So Ice Punch comes through, takes us straight out. So what can I do here? That is the real question. What can I do here? They probably have Mark Punch. So I can't really use the Skeledurge strat yet. I think I'm going to have to go Skeledurge. I mean the Dreadnought strat. Shell Smash and all that. I'm going to go Skeledurge now. And I'm going to go for a Will-O-Wisp. I think Will-O-Wisp is a good play to go for. They go for a Nuzzle. Which is going to paralyze us, because that's the whole point of the move. It, it nuzzles you to paralyze you. And we don't get fully paralyzed. Come on, don't get fully paralyzed. We don't, but we miss the Will-O-Wisp anyway. Which is really unfortunate. Very unfortunate, in fact. So, if we assume that that is a physically defensive Quagsire, which it might be, Skeledurge might be a good way of dealing with it if we can burn it and get the Hex off. But we need a couple of Torch Songs. So, they're going to withdraw the Pormat, which is fine. And they're going to go into the Zabdos, which is also fine. Zabdos is going to come through, get burned. Um, it's got the heavy duty boots. We get fully paralyzed, which is really annoying. Very annoying for us. So now, what do we do? I'd say our best bet is Dreadnought. Seems like a weird play. But I really think they're going to roost here. 
So I'm gonna go into the Dreadnought. I'm really gonna I'm really doing this. I'm going into the Dreadnought. Going into the Dreadnought. Why? Because I'm ballsy. I think this is the only way we get around this. So we're gonna go into Dreadnought. They go for a roost, as to be expected. Which is fine and all. Now we go for a Terra Ground Shell Smash. That's what we go for. Dreadnought is gonna pull this back for me. I just know it. Because with Terra Ground, we're not weak to the mock punch. We also can be immune to the electric attack that could be coming our way. I'm assuming they'll predict the Terra though. So they're probably going to go for a Hurricane or a Heat Wave. So let's see how that plays out. So we go Terra Ground. We go Terra Ground. We get the Shell Smash off in a second, hopefully. They do go for another Roost. They Roost. The Roost is on fire. So that's annoying. So Shell Smash comes through. They're back to full HP. That's why it's annoying. The back to full HP. Now, did they terror already? I don't think they did, did they? No, they definitely didn't terror already. But we're going to get that boost from the uh, Shell Smash, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And now, we're going to go for an Ice Fang. Now, now, listen, listen, listen. We could predict the Terra Steel and go for an EQ, but I don't want to risk that. I'm going to go for the Ice Fang. Um, they do withdraw the Zapdos. They make the safer play, and they're going to probably go Quagsire here. Yeah, Quagsire comes in, which is great and all. Let's see how much damage Ice Fang does to this thing. Stones dig in, which is great. We go for the Ice Fang. Booster my Strong Jaw. It's not doing enough damage. It's not doing enough damage. Now, they probably that based on that damage, they are definitely unaware. So we can hit them with a liquidation. But actually, now that I think about it, Earthquake, well, stab is better the, is a better option. So and um, we get the defense drop, which is great. And they go for a recover. So now we gotta think to ourselves, what is the best thing to do here i think the best thing to do is we go for an eq because eq should do more than they can recover right i think so we go for an eq because it is stab after all i completely forgot terra did that for a second there i had a bit of a brain fart earthquake takes out the quagsire not even a critical hit that is awesome that is awesome not even a critical hit so quagsire goes down now they have poor mod. so it might be looking like a dreadnought sweep here we're looking like a Dreadnought sweep. So let's go for the Liquidation just in case they Terra Flying or something. If we don't, we go for a Liquidation. That's going to take out Palma. I think they have pretty much gave up at this point. They haven't Terra yet though, which is interesting. So I'm guessing they don't have a Terra that can stand up to Dreadnought. But um, yeah, I guess we've got a Dreadnought little, little bit of a Dreadnought video going on, which is amazing. I'm, I'm glad we got Dreadnought going on. So do we go for the Ice Fang or do we go for the Liquidation? If they're going to Terra, we should... I, I think we Ice Fang first. There we go. They didn't Terra, so they must not have a good Terra for it. As Ice Fang cleanly KOs the Zapdos, which is amazing. And that's going to be the game. So GG Zero, that was a pretty fun one. I enjoyed that. It was great getting Dreadnought to do some work in the battle. I actually really enjoyed that thoroughly. So thank you for the game. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Let me know if you use it. Let me know if you have any success with it. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.